Hey everyone, Paul Brooks here from B Movie Mania with another interview for you. Today I'm talking with actor Sherry Jackson, who was one of the stars of Leprechaun Back to the Hood, which came out in 2003. If you're a fan of the Leprechaun franchise, you're definitely going to want to check this one out. I got to meet Sherry and we're chatting for this interview at the Atomic Cafe, which is uh, located at the back of a Fry's electronic store in Burbank, California. So you're going to get a little Fry's ambiance going on in the background. Oddly enough, me and Mike Hayes, who may or may not be your favorite B-movie maniac, shot a video in this uh, exact same spot last year. So I'll post a link to that video on bmoviemania.com if you feel like checking that out as well. But Sherry was awesome. She's super sweet and fun to talk to. She's not really doing the social media thing right now. Uh, she's got, you know, a, just kids and a family and all that. So, But we'll post uh, a link to her IMDb page below the interview if you want to check out some of her other projects that she's been doing. This is a really fun interview that we did, so let's get to it. Here's my conversation with actor Sherry Jackson. It's B-Movie Mania! Mania. Sherry Jackson, thank you so much for chatting with me on B-Movie Mania. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. Of course. I'm excited. We're, we're hanging out at the Fries in Burbank, California. Yes. It's one of my favorite spots just because it's got a cool sort of like B-Movie feel to it. And we happen to be sitting in a pink Cadillac. And we're in a pink Cadillac. Like <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Um, thank you so much for being here and chatting with me. You know, I mentioned to you earlier that I took a look at your IMDb mm -hmm. and you have been in TV shows and movies and all sorts of stuff. However, you were in a film that we are here to talk about tonight and it yes. is called... Leprechaun Back to the Hood. Back to the Hood. Yes. Back to the, the hood. The Hood. That's right. Not to be mistaken for the hood. Right. Yeah. The Hood. T-H-A. The Hood. That's right. So that was 2003, so it's been a little while. Yeah, but yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, but I was hoping to chat with you about all sorts of stuff. So let's, let's, let's start with your character, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> tell I, I, me a little she bit. She was fun. Tell, tell me a little bit about who she is, who her character is, and, and sort of what she does in the film. You know, Lisa is um, a sassy... No nonsense, uh, not going to be pushed around, small but mighty kind of character. Um, I think you get that feel from the first scene yeah. that she's in. Um, yeah, and she also adds an element of comedy, you know, to the thing. So it, she was fun. It was a fun character to play. Were you familiar with the franchise prior to getting the job to be in this one? I was. I was. That's actually a funny story. Um, I grew up as a horror film buff. My dad is, so we grew up with the 80s classics, you Great. know, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Friday the 13th, and um, Leprechaun. Um, I think out of all of them, I was probably scared most of the leprechaun and the idea of the leprechaun really so when i got the audition for this movie my friends thought it was hysterical they were like this is the one that you're gonna get and i was like no i don't know how am i gonna do it <laughs> i was like i'm terrified of that guy um yeah sure enough that they were right that that's good, one. though. So, I mean, so that's good that you had sort of an idea of what you were getting into I did. prior. Yeah, I did. I was a fan. I was a fan. I grew up watching, you know, ever since the first one, so. And yeah. so what was the um, what was the, the casting experience like? Was it just sort of your typical casting call that you showed up for? It, yeah, pretty much. It was, you know, it did a couple of auditions. Um, for the casting director and then the director and, and maybe another one 
after that, um, yeah, and cool. then I got the call. Exciting, yeah. I, got, I got to imagine, I mean... Yeah, it was exciting and, and scary, and yeah, I didn't know what I was in for, um, but yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun and a great experience. I met some great people, um, yeah. Cool. Well, let, let me ask the question that in my mind is sort of the elephant in the room. What was your experience like working with Warwick Davis? Awesome. It was awesome. Um, so the character, the character he plays, I was terrified of. But Warwick is absolutely the nicest guy uh, that you could ever work with. Total professional. I mean, he had more experience than anybody on the film. So total professional. Um, and I didn't realize, you know, getting into it, uh, I was new to the whole acting game. So that was like my second, maybe my second movie that I had ever done. Um, and so I didn't realize that everything was shot out of sequence. Right. So when I read the script, I saw kind of where my character would end up and uh you know I was like oh it's not toward you know toward the end I got some time to kind of build up to that scene and it was like one of the first days on set oh, really? they're like so <laughs> here you go we're gonna shoot this one and um three for a loop yeah threw me into the fire but uh it was fun cool it was fun that's great um what was it like being on set sort of knowing what the leprechaun character looks like and then and then getting to see Warwick Davis in the flesh in, in all that makeup and the costume and everything. Man, it's trippy. Yeah. It's trippy what they can do, you know, because um, you do the read-throughs uh, a couple of times you meet and I'm like, oh, this isn't so bad. I'm like, this guy's nice. Um, and then you get on set and then... It's just a whole transformation with the hair and the makeup and the prosthetics, and it's crazy. Yeah. So then he walks out, and you're like, yep, yep, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> yep, there you are. <laughs> that's interesting. I have to be honest with you. The Leprechaun franchise hasn't ever really scared me too much. Yeah. So it's interesting to me that, uh, and I'm sure that there's plenty of other people out there who are actually scared that, that there's, because obviously there's a horror element to it, but obviously there's a lot of comedy as well, so they kind of Absolutely. straddle that line. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's what makes it so fun. I think that's what makes the whole franchise so fun, is that, you know, he's scary looking and it's kind of creepy, but at the same time, he's got this comedic element to him and it's just it's campy it's fun and, and I think that's what people love about it yeah absolutely and that was his uh, last Leprechaun movie as yeah. well yeah so I think that was cool. the, the last one there's one that came after that a couple oh. of years ago called Leprechaun Origins but they cast somebody else in the lead role so it's oh. not Warwick anymore and kind of flopped a little bit you know because if it's not Warwick then I don't really see what the point is you know he's <laughs> he kind of yeah, yeah made the name absolutely anyone else uh, cast or crew wise that you felt you really bonded with on set or had a great time with on the set we had a great time in general uh shooting this film. Uh, I don't know how you can't. I mean, there's so much ridiculous stuff going on in this movie. It was fun. Like I said, for, for one of my first experiences on a movie set, and it, it was a lot of fun. Everybody was super nice. Um, the director was great, Steve R. Louis. Um, uh, just really kind to the actors, and um, Tangy Miller is awesome. Um, we, yeah, we just, we had a ball and, you know, Steve gave us, gave us a lot of lead way with the characters and allowed us to bring our own kind of thing to the characters, add our, our own spice to it, I guess, mm -hmm. if you will. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a great experience. Cool. Mm. Um, the other thing that I have really been, uh, excited to ask you about is 
All right, let's just say this really quick in case anyone is listening and doesn't want any sort of spoilers because we're going to get into spoiler territory right now. Um, your death scene, it is uh, kind of like brutally intimate in a way. It what really what was that been. like shooting that scene with Warwick? You know, that's the scene I was talking about, like that we did one of the first couple of days that we started shooting. Um, and it was an intense shooting day. I think it took a, about 12, 12 hours to shoot that whole scene. Um, and it's, it's just, you know, it was just Warwick and I mm -hmm. the whole time. Because you're in of, a bathroom. We're in a bathroom. I think we may go back and forth between, like, two rooms. Yeah. You know, but it was, a, you're right, it was a pretty intimate setting. Um... And it took a long time, all the, the, the fight scenes and the angles. Yeah. Um, so they were very intricate with the way it was shot. Um, but, I mean, it, we had a blast. It, it was a long day, but it, it was fun. Cool. Yeah. It oh. was a funny, funny story about that day, though. It... Um, we were going to be shooting for a long time, yeah. and so they didn't want to take Warwick out of costume. It was going to take too long to, but there was a lot of downtime, and so um, <laughs> um, we we took a break for lunch, and we were starving. I think we must have been shooting for already like seven, eight hours. We were starving, and um, <laughs> they brought us out plates. And I just remember sitting next to him, and I was just going to town on a sandwich. I was, like, starving. And I looked down at him, and he still got his, like, prosthetic hands on. And, like, there's nothing. He, could, he couldn't pick up the food. And oh. I was just like, all right, I'll help you out. <laughs> so I think somebody's got a funny picture somewhere of me feeding Warwick in costume. Oh, that's great. Um, on one of our breaks, but... No, that was, uh, that was a really fun scene. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, because some people don't realize that when you're on set, depending on when you start, your quote-unquote lunch break might not happen until 3, 4, 5 o'clock, whenever, you know? I mean... Yeah, it just depends yeah. on when you're shooting and... Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm curious, you finish shooting the movie, um, the movie comes out, do you know if it was straight to video? Or was there a theatrical release? Do you remember? I think that it was straight to video. Yeah. I think it was. I think uh, I was hoping for a theatrical release, sure. but um, no. I, it went straight to video, I believe. Um, but I think it did really well, though. The video sales. I think the the Leprechaun franchise has a huge following. It's yeah. A huge uh, loyal following. So. Yeah. And 2003 was like a really hot time for, you know, DVD rentals and all that stuff. That was sort of the peak, really, of that sort of thing. Yep. So that's cool. Do you Was there um, a rap party or a premiere party or anything like that? We had a rap party. I remember the rap party. Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. The, we became really close on, you know, on the set and filming the, the cast and the crew. So... Yeah, it was it was definitely bittersweet. So, and then when was the first time that you were able to see the finished product? Um, I think someone sent me a copy. Someone from I, the film I, I or think, someone from the studio? Right. Uh, I think they sent us all a copy when it was done. Yeah. So. And be honest. You check it out for the first time. What's what's your reaction? You know, sort of seeing yourself in the film, and and, and what's your impression of, of the film overall? Amazing, right? <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, it's 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 what it's, it's what we all expected. Yeah. You know, it's Leprechaun, yeah. and um, you know, a lot of fun, you know, campy but scary elements um no I, I i loved it i loved it i mean i'm being biased of course sure. but uh <laughs> I, it was fun it was, it's just a fun movie yeah i thought I, I i think my favorite part was there's a scene where uh leprechaun is 
doing bong hits with one of your cover stars. <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think that's everybody's favorite scene. Yeah, and then after he's done with that, he kind of gets the munchies and wanders yeah. into the kitchen. Uh, so there's some pretty goofy hijinks going on in totally. this thing. Totally, it totally. But you're right. I mean, if you're familiar with the franchise, you should have a pretty clear idea, certainly at this point, of what you're what you're getting into. Exactly. With the movie. <laughs> Um, obviously, since Leprechaun, you have been in, like I mentioned at the top of the show, uh, other movies and other um, TV projects and things like that. What have been some of the things that you've really enjoyed doing since uh, your Leprechaun experience? You know, um, not too long after I did the Leprechaun movie, I kind of fell into the whole voiceover world. I noticed that you've done some video games and stuff like that. Yeah, and that kind of um, that kind of became a love of mine, and I kind of found a little niche there. Um, yeah, it's it, that's kind of been my life, I, you know, the past ten years or so. Um, yeah, I've done everything from video games to commercials to animated shows, movies. So cool. Yeah, cool. It's been a lot of fun. You mentioned to me that you are actually a pretty big horror movie fan and you know on B-Movie Mania we watch a lot of horror movies so I'm just curious what some of your personal favorites might be um, that either you watched growing up or just you know in general favorite sort of yeah. horror movies or B-movies. Or B yeah I think um, uh, all-time favorite uh, would have to be Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm a kid of the 80s um, so that's, uh, I grew up watching that with my dad every Halloween. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like into the classics, Friday the 13th. Sure. I grew up with that, Halloween, of course. Um, but yeah, I don't think anything scared me more than Freddy Krueger. <laughs> that was it for me, so... Since you have experience being in horror movies, is there a particular um, franchise that is around right now that you wouldn't mind, you know, being a part of, uh, being being cast in, and sort of being being part of that? Anything that stands out to you that's sort of like newer stuff today? Yeah, you know, I think when the whole Saw franchise came on the scene, I think that was a little bit. That was that was a little bit different, you know. There was no campiness there. It was like really kind of okay. This stuff this stuff could really happen, you know. This is this is kind of creepy, um, but at the same time, I can't look away. Yeah, you know. So um, yeah, I think those are. I think the Saw movies are great. Um, well, I think they're actually getting ready to reboot that soon. So maybe uh, that, that might be something that's coming back. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. It's like one of those movies you sit there and you have your hands covered, but you can see through your fingers. That's how you have to watch that kind of movie. What about uh, ghost stuff, like the Paranormal Activity franchise? Do you get into ghost stuff or maybe not so much? I do. Like I was saying um, before, I'm from New Orleans, so I love the whole ghosts and, you know... Spirits. Spirits and other worlds. The spirit realm. Yeah. I kind of grew up, you know, hearing stories and voodoo tales. So, yeah, yeah I like that stuff. Cool. Yeah. Well, Sherry, thank you so much for chatting with me. Um, I'm so happy to have met somebody in the flesh who was part of the Leprechaun franchise. <laughs> it's really cool for me, so thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Was, thank you. It's fun. Listen up, maniacs. Do you have a question or a comment? Would you like to uh, send some bourbon to Uncle Lloydie? You can contact the gang on Facebook at B-Movie Mania. You can also drop them a line at bmoviemania.com. Reach out, touch them. They are touching themselves, and they might just reach back. I'm Lloyd Kaufman saying, see you next time on B Movie Mania. Woohoo!